Now we are connected to the Wi-Fi network, we can begin actually working. So we can go ahead and exit out of this browser and go to terminal again. So the first thing we're going to do is enable SSH, which essentially gives control of this Pi's command line from a diff different computer. So we just need to make sure that SSH is enabled. So we can do this by going to sudo raspi-config and it'll give us this menu. So we go to advanced options and we can go to SSH and we it asks would you like to would you like the SSH server enabled or disabled? So we hit enable. It says it's enabled. We hit enter and we can go ahead and finish. And now once we have confirmed that SSH is enabled, we can go ahead and type in host name dash capital I. And this will give us the IP address on which we can control our command line from a different computer. Okay, so now once we have set up SSH on the Raspberry Pi, we can go ahead and grab the Raspberry Pi's terminal from our Mac. And so how we do that is simply saying SSH Pi at and then the IP address it gave us. So the IP address it gave us was 192.168.1.1. And it will prompt us for a password. So the default password is Raspberry. And it now connects us to the Raspberry Pi's terminal. So from now, whatever we need to do on that computer, we can do remotely from here. Okay, so now once we have SSH on our Mac controlling the Raspberry Pi terminal, we can install VNC which will essentially do the same thing except for the interface. So we will have the Raspberry Pi desktop on this laptop. So first thing we need to do is install the VNC server. So we do that by saying sudo apt-get install tight VNC server. And it'll go ahead and read and install that. Cool, so it has installed the server. So now, all we need to do is make the VNC server start at default. So the first thing we're gonna do is cd home pi, then we will go cd dot config, and now we will do mkdir auto start, and cd auto start. And now we will do nano type vnc.desktop and it'll go ahead and we'll go into this file. So now we just need to add desktop entry type equals application name equals type vnc exec equal to vnc server space colon one start up notify equals false then you hit control x to save y to confirm and enter to leave so we want to start a server uh, at location one for the remote desktop in order to control the raspberry pi from this computer so we just do that by saying VNC server space colon one, and that will start the server and give remote desktop access. Now we want to go into finder, go to connect to a server and type in VNC colon slash slash the IP address it gave you. Then type in colon 5901 and hit connect and it will prompt you for the password of your Raspberry Pi computer. So again, default is Raspberry. And you hit connect. And now we have connection to our Raspberry Pi. So now we need to install VLC onto the Raspberry Pi. So what we do this 
how we do this is by typing sudo apt-get install vlc dash nox space vlc dash data and it will go ahead and install all of that it so it said failed to fetch we can do this by saying sudo apt dash get update Cool. So now that VLC is installed, we can check by saying where it is, and then space VLC, and it'll tell us exactly where it is. That means it is installed correctly. So now we want to set the environment variables for, for VLC. So you do this by saying export ld underscore library underscore path is equal to dash user dash lib dash vlc now we all want to um, do the same thing by saying export vlc underscore plugin underscore path is equal to user dash lib dash vlc dash plugins so now once we have set the vlc um, environment variables we can check that they were set correctly by saying echo dollar sign ld underscore library underscore path and it should say dash user dash lib dash vlc so we can do the same thing by saying echo dollar sign vlc underscore plugin underscore path and it should say the same thing but dash plugins at the end. So now is the part where we deal with node.js. Node.js may already be installed or it may not. So let's check. So for me it's already installed but if it's not installed for you it should say command not found. And so if you need to install node you would just say sudo apt dash get space install node.js and you hit enter and it should automatically install for you. So now we need to download and install the Java development kit. So we can go to this link here, the link will be in the description, on your Raspberry Pi desktop and go ahead and select accept license agreement and say Linux ARM32 Softflow API and you're going to go ahead and download that and it will download. So now we want to extract the contents. So now that we have installed Java, we can go ahead and navigate to it, going to our manager, then going straight to downloads. So again, we can just go to terminal. Now you can cd to downloads, which is where our file is located, and then go enter sudo tar zxvf and then the name of whatever you download and then you want to do space dash c space slash opt which will just extract these contents to the opt directory so once it has done that we have to just set the default java uh, to the newly installed jdk8 so we do sudo update dash alternative space dash dash install slash user slash bin slash javac space javac slash space opt jdk 1.8.0 underscore 77 extract the file that's the folder you get slash bin slash javac space one now we need to do the same thing but for java And now we just have to update the alternatives. And it will ask us uh, for a choice. So we will select one because this is the one that we just installed. Hit enter one. And we do the same thing but for Java. 
and again it's b1 and now to verify what we just did we'd say java space dash version and it will say 1.8.0 underscore 77 which is what we just installed and we will do java and it should say the same thing so now we need to install maven so we will just go to the raspberry pi browser and here we will just download here we will download this file binary tar.gg archive and let that download now once that's finished downloading it will be in the downloads folder and again we want to extract this to opt so we will go we are already in the downloads directory so we will just type in sudo tar v x v f apache dash maven dash 3.3.9 dash bin dot tar dot gz space dash d slash opt and it will go ahead and extract all the contents there so now that we have extracted maven's contents into the opt folder we just need to make sure that our shell knows where to find maven so we can do that by going into terminal uh, typing cd space slash etc slash profile dot d and then here we just say touch space maven dot dot sh it will say permission denied so just say sudo touch maven dot sh now we say sudo nano maven dot sh in order to edit the file then in the file we say export m2 underscore home is equal to slash opt and now we have to log out and log in for the script to take effect so now that we have maven working we can go ahead and start downloading some sample app code onto the raspberry pi so we can go ahead and close this terminal open up the browser uh, this link will be in the description so we can just download the zip let that download and go ahead and we're going to go ahead and leave it in uh, the downloads folder right here we're just going to leave it there for now we want to start using the sample code that we downloaded so we'll go ahead and cd to downloads and unzip uh, what we had downloaded which is unzip alexa don't remember the name so let's go ahead and grab the file here and so that will go ahead and open it 